I guess from this meeting, I hope that we can maybe work together and, uh, you know, especially with all that's going on with uh, Israel and all that kind of stuff, maybe, uh, you know, see if we can work together as two countries and, you know, kind of unite in some sort of sense, uh, work together. Uh, I feel that both countries have been through many issues in the last years. Uh, I guess that there's kind of a tension between both countries and also many things are happening in the world, you know, so I feel that maybe this can be like a, an interest opportunity for both countries to maybe talk about many issues that are happening in the world and maybe uh, also improve these tensions that are between both countries. I definitely think that climate change is something that can that that could you know they could cooperate on. I think that it could be beneficial for them to put their heads together. Even something small, I think, would have a really significant impact. I, I think for sure, with uh, with global warming on that kind of line, uh, with uh, the environmental impact that uh, they can they can do towards the the world and all that stuff. All of them are very powerful countries. So I feel that they have many topics to think about. Right now, the entire world is in a recession, and both of these countries can really make some talk about ways to improve the economics of the world from their own perspectives, from their own opportunities also to, to many places that are in the world. If we look at the world right now, it's definitely not in the, the best place. So I'm sure that uh, two powerful countries such as United States and China um, can definitely work together to maybe uh, prevent future issues or, or try to mitigate some of these issues going on. Um, yeah, so definitely, hopefully we can see them work together, yeah. Besides the economic issues, I think that the world is also expecting uh, for the future, for both countries to cooperate to global warming, you know? Uh, right now, most of the countries that are in South America are suffering many struggles from global warming. Uh, we have many rains. Um, many issues are happening in our country, so I feel that maybe if they talking issues like global warming that will be affecting us in the future, or many in develop uh, some new technologies to help uh, in development countries, I think that that must be like very helpful. I think at the very least they shouldn't be like militaristically antagonistic to each other. You said it, they're like two of the most powerful countries in the, in the world with, you know, however much money and influence. I think that if either one gets, you know, too testy or starts, you know, pushing boundaries militarily, I think it could be really problematic for many people beyond America and China. China is one of the most powerful countries, um, so is the United States, so uh, if they were able to you know, have a successful meeting between the two presidents. Um, it could definitely do good for the uh, entire world. Just the uh, the capital that the two countries own together and have um, can definitely uh, help society uh, and the world uh, for sure. So.